Okay, let's keep using RATFREC. We're going to be using a rigorous modeling with a total condenser column. We need to separate a C4 to C7. This means butane, pentane, hexane, and eptane. And the main objective is to recover 99.9 and .9 butane. Conditions of the primarily designed, this ma must have been obtained from this right here. End stages, we're feeding a 13th stage, this is the condenser pressure, and we got a pressure drop of 0.1 psi per stage. Recommended is once again Peng Robinson. And the feed ensure that this is N and meaning that they are straight hydrocarbons. Okay, so let's fill this up. Run the simulation so all the parameters are calculated. Done. Now we are going to be using RATFREC, so add this add one stream and this is total condenser this is the distillate the bottoms the feed and in the feed we have a saturated feed so this is liquid we're going to be using instead of temperature we're going to be using vapor fraction so this is very common in the distillations they will tell you that this is saturated almost uh, bubbling so pressure let it be English units so 100 psi and the vapor fraction because this is pure liquid in its boiling point let it be zero flow rates let's be here all flow rate 300 200 200 300 okay so that's the fit Let's go and check out the column. So this is equilibrium based, the number of stages, 30 stages. We're using a total condenser, kettle boiler, vapor liquids are valid, and use the standard convergence. Now this is the interesting part right here, in which we got previously this preliminar preliminary design. So let's assume we're going to be taking only 300 and approximately 1.87 so this is the value given let's see how it goes when we run the simulation doesn't mean that this is the final values and what is what we need here 70 we have the pressure drop of 0.1 now everything should be fixed let's run the simulation no errors, no warnings. And let's see if we achieve the purity. Okay, so this seems that we have recovered most of the pentane. Let's actually do the calculation. So we are losing 7 per each 292. So 292 over 292 over 200. Nope, we are not recovering the 98%. So let's try to improve that recycle ratio. Let's see how it goes. Now, I think we are pretty sure we are achieving the 99%. Let's just verify. times 100. So yes, we are actually recovering 99.96%. .96%. So this is a good approach. Maybe what you want to do is start decreasing this value. So 297 297 
Okay, so this is a good fit. The answer will be then 